Yes, I am looking. Okay, okay. So, look at this. You see that? The red lines? That were moved on the top of, top of the map? Top of the map? Top of the map, what? You mean, or you mean in, between, in Russia? In Russia, yeah. 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 Okay, so the the smaller red ones where you should hold, and what you should do with your troops, is to move in like this while keeping everything above this stuck. Yeah. So everything that's along this border up here remains and holds it, yeah. while everything that's along this border pushes up, right, and goes in, while I'm holding this border. So once we've taken this border, this big one right here, we can then just proceed to push in, you know, like this. Okay. And then we can push in like that. It's important that we neutralize everything that's around there first. Yeah. Save uh, the battle planner. Does yeah. have some use. <laughs> it has some use. Yeah, no, 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 no. And plan for the plan down here, I can show you my plan in Serbia and all. Yeah, I'm just going to move in like this, really, come in from this side while holding this here. Yeah, that seems yeah. like a good idea. It's gonna, open, yeah, that's, it's good that we want to walk because it opens up a different front. Yeah, so. I can I can remove it now so it doesn't cover everything. But you know the kind of what I had in mind for the for the Russians in, in Poland, so to speak. Yes. All right, I'm okay, on pausing cool. it. Sunk a British convoy. Moving into. Uh, can you get rid of the uh, things at all? Because I've what? got I've got all the arrows still on my screen. Oh yeah, you could. Oh wait, by the way, the Russians are invading into Germany. Yeah, I see, I see, I see. I need to reinforce. Uh, you click a battle plan. Sorry, let's just and then you just rem you just. What is it? Battle plan. Yeah, um, battle planner, and then you just devisualize it. Where is devisualize at? You just click toggle plan visibility on the map. There you go. So right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, I just need to send some more troops up to Russia. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and send another unit up there. To reinforce, we need to reinforce that. I'll also just just start pushing forward now as well with my infantry. Alright. Because I should have better troops than they do. Yeah, you'd probably do. Make sure you don't have any gaps, and that, that should be a bit... I'm, I'm pushing forward. My troops are pushing forward and beating the Russians now, so... It's not much of a biggie. You shouldn't have to worry too much. Uh, it looks like it'll be fine. Just don't lose don't, Just don't lose your organization or your sort of maneuverability, because it can get very difficult. Like, the Russians are pushing in quite heavily on you right now. They're making several of your troops retreat. Like, at this, what I do when you have such a big front, that's always why I put the AI to, to control it, because they just... They just manage it so nicely. Yeah, I'm losing, falling back there now. Yeah, you lost your harbor there in at the top as well, and they're storming in Grand right now. You might just lose all of Königsberg if you. <laughs> If you don't react quickly. Mm -hmm. I am doing stuff to try and stop it. Well, you're, the, the AI is at least beating the French pretty heavily now on the, the Western Front. Yeah, which is good. And I'm taking parts of Montenegro now. Can you invite anyone now that you've lost neutrality? Nope, not by the looks of that. Okay. Losing, winning, losing, winning. It's all on that. Yeah, that's good, that's good now that you took that part. Just so far. Don't forget to retake the what the Russians took from you at the top. While keeping that border under like stone hard control. Oh shit, they're pushing in there. Hmm. I'm falling back to a better position, I think. One against Montenegro. It's fairly easy, I guess. What laws can I reenact now? Specialist training. Pfft. Losing provinces now against Russia. 
I need the German Blitzkrieg now from the west to storm in and take everything. Well, I beat the the. I've been beating the Russians where I on some fronts, and I lose on others. It's really how it goes, to be honest. As long as the Romanians don't jump in, the Romanians are lining towards the Entente, and they'll always be. They'll almost be there. That is so dangerous. Um, quickly, can you push into? Uh, you winning in Jedra's Joy at all? Uh, where in Jedra's? Uh, just above one of your. Cities. Yeah, Jedra's Joy. I'm winning at 52. I'm on 52 okay, on that cool, one. Because I've I've literally just pushed straight ahead. On into, uh, yeah, but you're losing Boston. Königsberg now, it seems. Whereabouts am I? Where's That's that? at the top. Königsberg is that region at the top. Oh, yeah, I've pulled out of it just to thin the border a little bit so I can have a higher unit concentration. Okay. And just hold that because I, yeah. I, was, I was spread way too thin. That was a bit foolish of me. But now I've just pulled back out. And hopefully that should hold off whilst I push in in the bottom half. I've also got another three divisions almost built and as soon as as, as soon as my thing is done as, as the superior firepower I will start mass producing a lot of troops so that's all good um oh <laughs> that's embarrassing fucking uh, what Luxembourg took one region yeah. up here <laughs> yeah that's a bit <laughs> that's, that's all that AI control by so not me to be blamed for that but yeah, it's going relatively well. I've I've won in a lot of provinces. In oh yeah, you took uh, you took uh, Radomsk right now. That's okay. good because now that means that my border against Russians will be thinner. That means that I can put more troops on places where it's needed. You just enforce on Luxembourg there, so they're out of the game. Uh, yeah, uh, bloody Serbians. Fucking hell. Okay. Yeah, we, I, we have won the Battle of Jadrestrov. Yeah, that was good. Now we're pushing into it. It's really good. It's really good. We're beat, we're, we've won Battle of Shodorov. That's good. Uh, lots of reorganization being done here. Romania is really awfully close to Jabin joining the Entente. And if they do, it's going to be... I'm going to feel a bit fucked if they do, to be honest. Why do I still have troops towards in the Italian border? Can you still not invite anyone? You should be able to invite someone it now. It's not coming up in the left-hand corner at all. I will try to have a look at it manually and see if... Yeah. No, it just says the difference for value is 76 while it needs to be low in 25. I've got no decisions right. either. Okay. So well... Keep doing well on the eastern front. You're really you're pushing in the Russians there quite heavily yeah, now. I'm losing the top relatively hard, which is kind of annoying. Like I'm having to reorganize and shift a lot of people. But if I can just thin the border out a little bit, then obviously mm. it won't matter too much. Because yeah, if I take a few settlements, then that means I can push uh, people upwards, <laughs> which should be able to hopefully help them out. Yeah, once we take uh, Litevsky. Or at least Warsaw, that the border will be heavily thinned. And I'm beating them at some places, but I'm having to fall back in some places. They beat me in Husatin, they're taking that. I've got a lot of troops heading down to the Romanian border, because i got to prepare for whatever they're going to throw at me in time, you know. Still winning towards the Serbs, but it's standing still. Montenegro has pushed me back for some reason, but I'm gathering troops. My navy is working at a very hard time here. Just pushing up, doing all kinds of stuff. Okay, let's keep playing again and see what shit goes down. I've told everyone to keep on the push and attack. They've broken through a little bit, um, but I, sh I should be stopping that. I am sending a load of people to mm -hmm. cut them off and surround them. Russian Empire. To Petrograd. Apparently I have a lack of troops on the Western Front.
My consumer goods didn't uh, didn't go down that much though, but they weren't ever that high. Mine were down from 160 to like 23, so mine definitely went. Yeah. Down. British Marines in France. We're losing against the Russians now a bit, but as long as you can push in where you are, it should be fine. Trying to surround me now in some areas. Yeah, the Russians are pushing in quite heavily on me now. Okay, that was a bad decision. Fuck, I did not mean to click to attack the city. I had to start attacking loaders, load all. <laughs> which was not a clever idea until I surround it. It's really important though that once you've uh, taken, that once you've gone in, yeah, they're gonna take, watch out, they're gonna take Koenigs yeah, yeah, now. I've literally just seen that, don't I? I did not realize they could go around. That's a bit. No, they went in the top there. You should leave a division though behind at least. That should be good. We should be able to hold this border. I mean, as long as once you've pushed in, we should be able to just push back the Russians further. You're winning against the the rest though. Let's see. Right. No decisions. Declaration of neutrality. That's what we like to hear. Yeah, that's good. But they they didn't stay that neutral. <laughs> they did join in the end. But it wasn't decisive changing, you know. <clears throat> Von Hegedius. What the fuck? He made one big navy? All right. Yeah, my front thoughts the Serbs are looking pretty calm. Getting a th front thoughts the Romanians now, and I'm still holding. Yeah, I'm still actually pushing in on the left front there towards the Russians now. We're actually winning that, but I, I'm being pushed back a bit here by the Russians. To be honest, it's taking its time, but they are pushing me back. Superior firepower, finally. Oh shit! Sure. I need to start mass producing. I just paused it quickly so I can start producing a load of units. That's not what I want to click on. Uh, yes, go ahead and click, ahead and click on divisions and then just put five in a unit and just have a lot of them. That's not what I want to do. Infantry, 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 artillery. Let's go ahead and produce 15. Oh, I don't really want to see the Romanians go to war with us. Ottomans are drifting towards the Entente, what the fuck? Are you sure you cannot invite anyone? Because this is it, like starting yeah, to be... It, like, uh, I'm on Bulgaria, which is literally directly on us. So I click invite, invite the faction, and it just says the difference between our neutrality is uh, 76, while it needs to be 25. Which oh, I'm, wow. Am I missing something at all? I don't, we... think, I don't think there's anything to change, do to change that. No, but I've got my border. Romania isn't a big. I mean, Romania isn't a big problem because they only got one unit in each stack, so I've got one unit there as well. And then let me see here. The Russians are pushing pushing in through the center, but I'm beating them on the left and western flank together with you. So, yeah, I'll I'll take I'll have some I'll have to fall back a bit on the eastern front, but I'll but when you're pushing in on the eastern front a bit more, it should be it should be good. Just taking back crew of the place beating with K up in the top. Bloody soups. <laughs> oh, that's not good. We've won the Battle of Kielce against the Russian Empire. Yeah, they're being pushed in there now. And our border has been more united, to say the least. So everything now should just be easy to push in. My guys will be pushing in that. So it'll look like 
it's it'll look a bit dull in the beginning of it, but we'll once we link up our borders, it'll be it'll be sexy time. <laughs> yeah, All my troops will then move just down eastwards. See, I'm winning. I'm winning against them in Strachov. So that's gonna make another province. Gonna let me put troops on another site. I've got troops covering the Russians. Yeah, the Russians won't be making another any major advances into my country anymore. So that should be fine. It's kind of a bit of a stalemate until you clear it up at the top. I'm not winning against Montenegro, funnily enough, or like weirdly enough, rather said. It's it's something I thought we would win against quite easily, but they haven't really <laughs> gone on the offensive. Industrial at production advance, IC plus 15%. That's nice. Every time I keep on attacking one of my provinces up top, I'm then clicking to attack them as well, so hopefully that will push yeah. them back. Won the Battle of Javarovo against the Russians. Oh yeah, I'm pushing the Russians back now. I'm beating them in Strasov, I've taken that. I'm beating them in Solkiev, I'm taking that. Um, yeah, I'll just get some more divisions out now. I'm producing another 15 or something. That's going to be... We won the Battle of Solkiev, so they're being pushed back now. As long as, um, as long as, um, I mean, the Western Front is really what Western Front was. It's just a stalemate, you know. They're just sitting there on the border. So if you just spend everything, all your sort of time and organization on the Eastern Front, you should be able to, yeah, to beat them back. And once, if the front grows too large, I would really recommend you could perhaps swap it. You could perhaps put the Eastern Front on management, and then you go over to the Western Front and manage that a bit. Yeah. That's what I would do if I were you, because it looks like the Belgians actually took Luxembourg back now from you. <clears throat> well, it's all preference, really. I mean... Um, I'll do that, and then you can... I'll offer you land lease, so whenever... You're not using. You can request it from me as well. Okay. So whenever that, so whenever I'm not using anything, you'll be getting what's left, you know, of me, you know. So. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, oh, so much shit just happened. Go okay, cool. Let's push that through there. I've got a load of divisions here. I can send One, up. Yeah, but I'm winning against the Russians now, so this is all looking pretty good. Pushing in here on the. Yeah, this is good, this is good, this is good. They've made it a little into our country. They took Colombia and some there, but we're pushing in the north here. They're forced to retreat. This war's looking pretty good, to be honest, right now. Yeah, I'm losing it sort of in the north, plus because I have literally no troops. I just need to thin up my line a bit, and then I can yep. shuffle it up. Yep. Should we play for another five minutes? Yeah, that's then we'll hit. good. Okay. Yep. That should be by the end of October or something like that. Uh, mechanized division attacking my SARS. We've won, we've lost, we've won. Oh! I'm surrounding the, the Russians now at the top. My AI has done like a very nice surrounding move. They sent out a lot of troops into a province that locks off another set of theirs, which is good. My border towards Romania is looking very strong. Same against the Serbs. Oh, nice! We're pushing into Montenegro heavily now. Yeah, the AI does. They do miraculous things sometimes. They really seem like they're they're like cutting big slack, and then all suddenly they just, <laughs> just boom. They just bam. Execute this master plan that you never would have thought of yourself. Yeah, you locked off a nice set of Russians in Lodz, though. Yeah, again, surrounded. I really need to yeah. reinforce my bits at the top, though. Don't forget to attack in Kamienna, cause. Uh, that's the board. That's the province. That's between like my Ostrovich, Kamienna. Do you see it? It's like on the right of Lodz. Sorry, where am I looking at? Kamienna. No, it's on the right of Lodz. Where's Lodz? You know where Lodz is. Come on. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Geograph. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. To the right there, Kamienna is. If you push up with the troops that you have in. Konski. Yeah, good, 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 good. Yeah, because now that, that means yeah, good. Because then my troops. My troops in Ostrovich won't be attacked by them. So that's great, that's great, that's great. Pushing on the bloody Montenegrins now. Oh no, we lost a submarine. 
<laughs> Sad oh my god, wow. Herceg Novi. I've been there. <laughs> Herceg Novi. It's in Montenegro. It's, it's funny. Lost a battle there against Serbian troops. No, I need to go over Yes, we push into Xandomierts and we take out the Russians. I speak with Russian accent, even though I'm not Russian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so cool. Oh, I've got loads of men now back here. Fucking Montenegro, sorry, but why are they. How am I losing some battles against them? I don't get it. Because they're better than you. <laughs> yeah, right, Montenegro. <laughs> Oh, I took Samox. Finally, I'm starting to take some Russian territory here. Oh, wow, that's a four, three front attack on one Russian province. Looks like my Austrian Garians are actually doing pretty good. Reinforcements is being prioritized. Once I bring up another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight divisions now this December. That's another like eighty thousand men that's gonna be put on the eastern front. That's gonna be a bit yeah, problematic. I've I've currently got fifteen brigades on the go. Oh look at that, you've actually Yeah. Yeah, I've actually managed to help hold the Russians at the top now. I think we've caused such a big like You could actually break through and take that back now since you've got such a it's an ink you got a better top. Front. I, really, I personally don't wanna risk it. Like if I oh, fail okay. then, yeah, then they push forward and I'm fine. But uh, keep uh, keep uh, how should I put it? Keep uh, keep attacking until you hit uh, until we hit uh, Litovsk, our goal along the, along the uh, the river, a uh, river along the river, <laughs> along the river, and okay. uh, then we'll have a pretty straight front, and then it'll be a lot easier, a better troop uh, troop splitting there. So it looks like Romania is going to get involved in this year, later this year. Wow, we could really do with some more allies now, to be honest. Yeah, it's really annoying. It won't let me invite anyone. I'm not no. Not sure why it's, it's saying so much stuff about the like neutrality. I'm sure it wasn't that bigger. Yeah, no, I guess, true. I guess I need to stick some more troops on my Western Front because the AI is really asking for troops. I'm gonna start managing some of my own troops now. Uh, I've got a lot of troops that are just positioned by what's it called? Uh, by harbors, and that's like 20,000 men that are just positioned along a harbor, and <laughs> yes. that isn't exactly what I want them to be, and what I want them to do, so I'm going to form a new corps, that's going to be the third corps, that I'm personally going to command right now, just to, to fight the, the Montenegrins. Yeah. Montenegro means Black Mountain. Dude, that's Russia. I haven't actually got any troops in that city. We can push straight through and take uh, Warsaw. Yeah, do that, do that, do I that. I haven't actually got anyone there. So if we can just claim that before they stick any troops in the map. Yeah, good, 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 good. This, uh, is, this is really, this is like the whole idea of Hearts of Iron. You just exploit a gap and then no one has any organisation to stop you. And you just right. completely wreck them. I want to be a little bit careful though after passing through Warsaw. I have to be careful where I attack because they have a lot of rivers everywhere. Yeah. Just uh, sort of uh, base that along the river. Uh, Battle of Samosk. I think I'm losing that to be honest. Yeah, 21,000 Russians against 11,000 of mine. Yeah, I'm definitely losing that, but it's not a biggie. Uh, uh, beating them back there. Okay, Warsaw oh. should be mine any second now. Okay, mate. Oh. Ottoman Empire, what's that? Ooh, I think the um. The Ottomans joined us now. Yes. Yeah. Yes, the Ottomans they did. Us. Thank fucking god. <laughs> Still kind this of is going to be so good. Oh no, oh no, this is so bad because the Russians are going to rush their front now entirely. Poor Ottomans are going to get taken out. Oh, that's not good. Out. That's not good at all. No, not good at all. Checking out where the Italians are. Keep on influencing them. I can offer the Italians an alliance, but not into our faction. This should mean that the Bulgarians, if the Bulgarians would join us soon, that yeah, would be very good. I'll keep I'll on... 
Offer you lend lease there. Chills. Um, I'm gonna offer. See if I can offer Bulgaria an alliance. I cannot. They are way too neutral. Their neutrality is seventy six. Yeah, however, once if they do join us, it'd be a nice increase of troops and everything. So the Russians, obviously, but this is good though about their war with the Ottomans because now they're gonna have to like, look at the borders. Look at the Russian borders. They're all sending troops down. Look, look. Yeah. If you look at the arrows, you see the green arrows just heading down. Yeah, that's very it's, good. That's just gonna be great. So now I'm just gonna push for that. I'm just gonna put my stance on attacking stance so that I'll exploit and take more risks in attacking and everything to get my way and hopefully and the Ottomans will probably be pushed back quite a lot but they actually got quite a good infantry look at that 5-4 in one of them yeah it's not bad yeah it's good so if they will oh and yeah we got no we didn't get naged finally winning the those battles against the Russians taking back what I've lost we've won the battle of Rohatin we've won the battle of Colombia holy won... shit they've pretty much just left their front so open up the top. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, no, look at that, they're like, they're sending everything down now because they, they feel that the Ottomans are more of a threat than we are, apparently. Apparently, well, that's a very stupid decision. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> I mean, the Ottomans were a lot more powerful at this time. They were like a very large empire. But still. Okay, that, that looks, we've, oh my god, the Russians are falling behind now. Yeah, they are getting absolutely annihilated. Austro-Hungarian troops are annihilating them as well. Now you can push up at the top yeah, and sort of what, what catch them. Doing. Yeah. Did they reform? Yeah, no, their headquarters is, or their capital is still at St. Petrograd. Look at this. This is wonderful. And the Western Front is remaining just like quiet. You've got so many stacks in each region that no yeah. one could really attack. And so by the French, if not have more stacks, which is not good. Oh shit! I'm not even using my air force. What the hell? Totally forgot about that. <laughs> Let's bring them up quickly. Get them in Warsaw so they're straight into the action. My guys are just storming into the Russian front now. They've lost their organization here, we can tell, so we've just rushed in. Romania shouldn't be a problem to break off either. Uh, we've, we're breaking off the. We're actually breaking the Montenegrins right now. I don't know if you say Montenegrins or just Montenegros. <laughs> that sounds weird. <laughs> Montenegros. Sarajevo. Uh, oh, we're pushing into Serbia now. Finally, a bit of a change in that front. Oh, the Serbians left their front open. That is so dumb. <laughs> oh my god, that is so dumb. Why would they? Why would they leave one of their like important fronts open? That is so dumb. Yeah, look at that. All right, we're definitely going into Russia now quite heavily here, and our front is looking pretty solid. How's like, it going like, down? How's it going down in Serbia? Yeah, uh, I've I've gone in more now. I've taken another set of areas here. I've taken two. So They're falling. You just, just need uh, to uh, surround Belgrade and just. Yeah, Belgrade's separate. where their sort of IC is at. I mean, it's only one spot, but they've only got like two total IC or something. So, oh, we've won the Battle of Tarnopol. We've won the Battle of Samosk. Yeah, this is. It looked pretty bad in the beginning, but now. As yeah. the Ottomans joined us, the Ottomans are going to be in a bit of a problem. But once we take out Serbia and get Bulgaria on our side, we can always I can always f like flood troops down into Ottoman Empire, the Ottoman Empire. But it looks like they'll be able to hold them. I'm actually quite curious about this. It's uh, it's funny how the what the Russians are actually up to right, bring so many troops back. It's like unnecessary how many troops they're sending back right now. Yeah, definitely. It just completely opened up the top front. Yeah. Is a bit silly. And we're just rushing in right now. They're forced to retreat from the, the areas they previously took from me. And we will take back what we. I'm not Russian once again. All right. Oh, are, you, are you excited about the last day? Uh, last, whatever it's called, the new metro. Oh, yeah, game. the last light. Yeah, last light. That's uh, all. Yeah. It looks insane. It's so yeah, good. I've read the books. That's oh, really? Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Siege what? of Sing Tao, yeah, yeah. German controlled port of Sing Tao in Jing World of One. Oh yeah, that's the one that you own in China. The one that the Brits yeah, the Brits have taken now, and that Japan took Qing Tao. I'm gonna be ground attacking this place as well because it seems like it's a bit hard to take for some unknown reason. Obviously you have a lot of troops now. <laughs> Once Romania joins the world it'll just be another butcher's party. <laughs> Uh, we're losing Valajevo. I don't know where Valajevo is. If that's against the Serbian 
front? Yeah, that's against the Serbs. Fine. All right, we've uh, we've it's it's eight past now. Okay, so do you want to? I don't go know. Ahead? We can stop it at nineteen fifteen. It's just the uh, the edge there. You know, just the. Okay. Or if it, it depends on when you want to they, they push for a little bit uh, just above Warsaw, but I've managed to reclaim it. Like you can see, there's a there's a big gap there, but yeah, yeah, I've managed there, yeah. to uh, stop that, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah, the only really, yeah, I'm winning against the Russians now. This is good. Holy shit! They just annihilated me there. Like that was insane. There's like I have so many more men than they do, but they just completely wrecked me. Yeah. We've lost the, well, lost. We've lost the Straits of Messina. Aha! That's the Herzegnovi. Finally, my troops of the core that I control myself are soon going to be done, and I'm just going to use those three divisions. That's like thirty thousand men. That's all going to rush an area, like like dedicatedly, like just yeah. to be used as some sort of breakthrough maneuver troops. So that's going to be great. Serbia's falling behind now. Quite like that a lot. Montenegro's gonna fall soon. And then I might just take out Al uh, Albania as well while I'm at it. And mm -hmm. then just push up. And once I'm done with that, you might see some Austrians on the Western Front. That would be very nice, because we'll uh, obviously at the moment I'm not really doing anything. No. Oh, actually, no, I pushed through, sort of, if you look. Or is that the Belgians taking a city and the AI just hasn't taken it back? Yeah, they took Katanom. Yeah, the AI just hasn't moved anything in there for some reason. Do you still have them on AI control? Yeah. And What's you have it? them on target Paris, right? Yep. Put it on. Put one on uh, Br 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 Brussels as well. Oh, actually, maybe not. But maybe it's changed it. Because it was. I haven't touched it at all, but for some reason... British fleet is kicking my ass right now. Kind of just kind of expected. Oh yeah, the Ottomans are fighting the Russians back quite heavily. Look at that. They just gathered everything they had there and sent it up there. That's nice, that's nice, that's nice. Come on, push up the Soklov. Slogs of. We've won the Battle of Orodok. Nice. Yeah, our front thwarts will soon both hit uh, Litevsky from our yeah, sides, so that's pretty good. good. And we're getting kind of an equal distribution of land here, it's pretty nice. We've just taken a massive chunk of the Russians. It'd be nice if we could get like a piece with the Russians when we once we've pushed in far enough. Once that like, we feel that the Russians have been disabled, you know, we feel that like the Russians can't really pose any more a bigger threat now. That we could just focus on taking out the Western Front later. That would be nice. Yeah. Oh, wait, push me back. That's not good. Need to reinforce it up here quickly. Oh, we're actually pushing back over here. It's ridiculous. I take a point down at the bottom, and then they retake it, and then I take one, and then they retake <laughs> it. It's like, why can't Sorry, you hold, hold this point, please? How are the Ottomans oh, doing? Oh my god! The Ottomans are reforming. I lost five of my ships in a battle against the, the British. Five of my ships. That's not good. Five, like, battle cruisers, cruisers, you name it. I still got my... Oh my god, they just... Annihilated my my fourth uh, fourth navy, but then again, my second navy isn't being used that much, and that's the one that has like three battleships in it. I don't think the British are going to be too keen on fighting that. I kill. It's taking ages to end the uh, speed up a little bit. You've won that. Oh wow, you're putting a five. You uh, got everything <laughs> under control. Yeah, I was just doing that because it was taking forever to. Um, to yeah, right, hit good, new good, 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 good. Yeah, everything, everything's in position now, which is cool. We've got loads of stacks just like chilling. Well, not loads of stacks, I've got, I've got a stack. Just not really doing anything. Um, I might go ahead and stick this all the way up in the, the northern front. Fucking hell, British Montenegro troops, or whatever the hell they are. That's fucked. <laughs> 
I'm going to go stick an entire corpse up in the north just to reinforce it because it's it's not struggling, like it's holding its own. It's just another five units. Well, that's like oh. 50,000 men should really help. The Ottomans conquered an omen. They're taking out the British colonies and everything in Africa. Oh, and they're fighting, in, they're fighting in Egypt now as well. It's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Now all we need is like the Bulgarians on our side and uh, we have an instant and clear victory. Yeah, I still can't invite them. No, 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 true. It'll really probably annoying. be an event. They probably didn't join the war until later on, you know. Um, but they did They did bring 1,200,000 one troops to the war, so... Mm. That's a lot. Yeah. It said that I brought 7.8 million troops to the war, and you brought 13 million <laughs> troops to the war. Funny thing has no one evidence that he came close to that. It is true, though. The Russians had, like... <laughs> You have nowhere close to as many troops in Hearts of Iron as they, the Russians actually did yeah, have. It's insane how many. Alright, you should be getting some extra IC now from me. Through lend lease. So I'm not using it. Hasn't come up yet. No, you are getting it, you just don't oh, see it. Okay. Yeah. Hey, we've broken into the Russians quite heavily now. We've done like a spearhead assault into Russia. We're in Shep Sheptvika. Once I take Kiev, that's probably where I'll, where I'll stop my Russian attacks. Okay, let me see here. Now, what I'm going to do is... Ah, yeah, the Serbians are. Palajev, we won that battle. We could add it. We could end it at the the, the first of December as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The it's recording take, it's taken a really long time. So yeah. I thought it was in December as well. Okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and end it now. I'll go ahead and pause it. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have time, please go ahead and check out Diplex's channel. He does some awesome, awesome stuff, and he's so close to forty k subscribers. Yep. So make sure go to go over there and uh, give them some love. So yeah, uh, we'll make sure to uh, re-continue this and win the war from for the Germans and Austrians. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time.